This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is the Rock Bros Hamburger Bike Lock. I received several requests to take a look at this lock soon after Bosnian Bill featured one on his channel, and I thought it was an interesting enough lock that I spent a few bucks and picked one up. It has a really neat design and the core is, is pretty interesting. It provides some unique challenges to pickers. Before we get into picking, however, let's take a look at the overall design and how it's used. This is a self-contained bike lock with the chain that's wrapped around the body itself. So we deploy the chain to lock up our bike and And then to, to lock it up, we take our key, insert it in the lock, turn it, you heard that click. That click was this center post popping up. And that center post travels all the way through the lock body and turns into the shackle in the bottom. So if I were to insert the end of the chain down there and press down on the, that little piece that popped up, everything gets locked. To unlock it, we insert the key again, get that shackle to pop up, and then we can wrap the chain back around the bike lock. And it's a nice, neat little stowable design. And it actually comes with a mounting bracket as well that you can put this on the back of on your, um, I'm sorry, on the frame of the bike. So let's talk about what we need to do to pick this lock open. Looking at this core, it looks like a normal tubular lock design with a couple of differences. First, we do not have seven pins. We have six pins and the spot we'd normally have pin number four, there's just a hole. Remember that because we are going to take advantage of that hole a little bit later. Next, usually we tension this center post on the lock, but we don't do it on this one. That center post doesn't turn at all, and even if it did, it wouldn't do anything. The portion of this lock that we have to turn is a ring that's underneath this face plate, and it's relatively difficult to get to. However, we can take advantage of the fact that we only have to pick this lock one position, and that opens up a whole bunch of tensioning options for us. The easiest one of which is simply using a normal wiper insert tension wrench. This is the Sparrow's Z-Bar, and I'm gonna place it right in there and lift it up as far as I can, and that creates a little bit of a levering effect where the tip of that tension wrench is pressing on the ring and giving us all the tension we need. So let's see if we can get this guy picked open now. Okay, nothing on one. Click out of two. Nothing on three. Nothing on four, five, or six. Click out of one, click out of two, click out of three, four, click there, little click out of five, nothing on six, nothing on one, two, little click on three, click on four, nothing on five or six. I think we're getting close. Let me check to make sure we're tensioning this enough. And I think I just got some movement on the core. Okay, this lock is picked. Let me show you something. You can see, if you look right at the top of the keyway, you can see that ring has moved over just a little bit. That indicates that all the pins are picked. We just need to rotate it a little more. To do that, I'm going to stick my pick where that hole is in the bottom of the keyway, and then just turn it. And as you can see, that turns it enough to pop that shackle open. Ironically, the hard part about picking this lock is picking it shut, as I discovered the very first time I did it, and I didn't want to do that again, so I just filed the nub off of one of these keys, so anytime I wanted, I could relock it. 
Now, let's say you encounter a lock like this and you do have to pick it more than one position. That would be a lot more difficult and would require a specialized tension tool. However, there is one that works that's commercially available. If you saw my video number 321, I featured a 14-piece tension tool set from banggood.com that included two tools that I wasn't quite sure what they were for. One of them was this little angled piece of metal with flags on the end. I speculated they could be used for tubular locks, and in fact, it works perfectly for this one. If I insert the small end in the top of the keyway here, it actually tensions this lock very, very nicely, and I could pick this a full 360 degrees using this tool. The only problem would be you can't get the tool out unless it's in the 12 o'clock position. So a bit of a drawback, but you do have options if you encounter a lock like this. That's all I have for you, I think, on this Rock Bros bike lock. A really interesting design, but a core that doesn't hold up to picking for very long. If you do have any questions or comments about this lock, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.